We've got something! Follow that signal, pal! We're getting closer! Okay, okay. Receiving. Decrypting. Damn! The signal got rerouted somewhere else! Let's get moving! We're not something. getting any nearer! Getting nearer! Okay, I'm connected again. Decrypting. Decrypting. Redirected again. Find the new source, quick. I think this is the wrong way. The signal is getting stronger! There it is! Steady! Steady! Not again! Go, go, go! <laughs> This has to be the right direction! Come on, just a little bit longer! I almost have it! Oh, what a piece of... Come on, we need to hurry! We're almost done! This has to be the right direction! Getting nearer! This has to be the right direction! That'll teach ya! doing here okay guys we got new orders we need to you again did you just receive orders through this thing of course what else do you think my antennae are for no way 
Yes way. Evil way to be exact. Why though? Why work for them? They literally have evil in their name! You would never understand. Mr. Bones is like a father to us. We were mere bugs, destined to mindlessly crawl the streets of Bumsville for all eternity. Now look at us. We're big and strong. No more hiding. No more getting squished. That's why we obey his every command. Speaking of which, get him, boys! Oh, we're just getting started. <laughs> Intercepted! Passphrase decrypted! We got it all, pal! I told you not to worry about your brain! In fact, my plan is already in motion! We just need to visit the Rads! Say what you want and I'll be on my way. I'm right here if you need, you need anything. anything. Come to me Time to hit the streets. Done. We got you the passcode. I think that should complete our to-do list. Amazing! It means our suffering will be over soon. Oh, apart from the fact that you're still missing half of your brain, correct? Hey, about that. The funny thing is, I know exactly where the brain is. Oh, that's quite a distance from here. Yes, I see. Won't be easy. All right, kids. Time to move out. There's work to be done. Wait for us here. You helped us out tremendously, and now it's our turn to return the favor. We'll be back with your brain soon enough. Try not to get into any trouble while we're gone. Well, we can't just stand here aimlessly. Let's double check if the machine works at least. Seems to be working fine. Let's test that access code we got just to be sure. <sighs> I 
I have a confession to make, pal. I lied to the rats. And I lied to you. No one ever removed any part of your brain. What? The truth is... You're in my body. <laughs> you see... Evil Way wanted to extract my soul and bind it to an object for safekeeping. Or something like that. I forgot the whole evil speech thing they did. Anyways, they chose my shopping cart to be that object. They chose you. However, they didn't know that you were more than just a lifeless container. You were my imaginary friend. My best friend. My little Cartman. In my mind, you were always alive. I think this gave you a soul or something. And this soul apparently found a way back into my empty body. Luckily for us, some underpaid intern mistook us for a failed experiment and dropped us on the street. You woke up and, well, you know the rest. While it was fun to see things from your perspective, I think it's time to switch back. I hope you had your fun while in my body. No hard feelings, right, pal? I knew this was totally shady. Stay away from him, you hunk of junk. Hey, this is my body, possessed by my shopping cart. I'll do whatever I want with it, even if it means sort of killing my best friend and making him imaginary again. Uh... <laughs> Disgusting. I would stay in my rap form forever if changing it would mean hurting someone I care about. Well, I wouldn't. Not after everything I went through. Besides, I'm not letting a dirty rat get any closer to my body than necessary. Pigeons are considered flying rats. And you already keep those pretty close. Don't you dare compare those noble creatures to some lowly vermin! Pigeons are saints, and they obey my commands! There is one who doesn't. Get him, big bro! Take him away, and throw him far into the sea! Let me go! I command you to stop! Sorry about that. When I heard what he said, I just couldn't let him do that to you. And <laughs> you probably hate me for disposing of your friend like that. Well, I'm no better than he was, really. Aww. Evil way is still looking for you, you know? And they won't stop. This soul thing has to be really important for them. So you have to strike first! Take him out when they least expect it. And what better way to do it than to strike from the inside? We located someone who could totally help with that. A scientist who left evil way and is against everything it stands for. Father didn't want us to reach out to him, as he is partially responsible for what we are now. <laughs> I contacted him anyway, like in secret, so uh, don't tell Father. He agreed to help when the time comes to make our move. I say, the time is now. Go find Dr. East. Ah. You already met the doc? Awesome. You know where to find him then. Come on, I'll do my own preparations in the meantime.
touch my buns. See how soft they are. Ah, uh, I already suspected that you were the one the rat girl was talking about. So, are you ready to destroy that disgusting monument to capitalism known as Evil Way? Uh. Welcome to the Resistance! Uh -huh. Well, it's a small movement, a single two-person cell at the moment. But I bet more people will join when they see our accomplishments. Which brings us to our plan. While I was working with those devil spawn, I noticed there is one area that is strictly off limits. As you know, I'm a man of science, and as such, I can't be held back by some artificial rules. It turns out there is one additional floor below the basement. And there it was, a single column that holds up the whole Evil Way building. A giant evil column, if you will. This leads to a simple conclusion. We get rid of the column. We get rid of Evil Way. Questions? Yeah. Ah, yes. How? Great question. I'll create the explosives needed to destroy the column. In the meantime, you'll have to find a way in and mark it for me. There are some ancient tunnels under the city which seem to connect with this secret basement. It's a convoluted network of passages shrouded in complete darkness. Luckily, I have a solution to that problem. <laughs> I gave the same shot to one of your rat friends a long time ago. It gives your urine quite a radioactive glow. It should light up your way and leave an irradiated residue that I can trace. Huh? A flashlight? Such a crude solution, not worthy of my time. Besides, I already gave you the shot, so why let it go to waste, right? Here, I mark the entrance to the tunnels on your map. Oh, and be careful. I hear those passages are crawling with bugs lately. It's your lucky day! Uh-huh. Hey, it's your lucky day! Uh-huh.
creep up here. You shouldn't have messed with oh, that'll teach ya.
That was to be expected. I look different now. You see, I had to make a lot of sacrifices to get where I am right now. That is, way above my failure of a brother. Way above you, Carl. I knew that you would come here. Stealing the machine wasn't enough for you, was it? People like you always want more. Admit it! You want to destroy everything I've built because you're jealous of my success! Eh. You won't lie your way out of this one, brother! You see, my bugs have captured a friend of yours! And do you know what he had in his possession? A bug! and detailed plans to plant it here with you. I'm afraid our plan has been compromised. Shush! You're interrupting my villain monologue. He's right, though. Your plan has been compromised. Now I have you exactly where I wanted. Uh... It seems that for once in your lifetime, you'll be of use to me. You see, there are rumors that I offered my soul in exchange for my success. Those rumors are true. It might seem like a bad deal, but I always had a backup plan. Trading the twin soul of my brother instead of my own. Um... Oh, I've been searching for you for years. You always had your best friends to protect you, though. You're creeps. I figured I needed a pest army of my own, so I started making one. Rats didn't work. Too intelligent to follow orders blindly. Bugs, on the other hand... Huh? What? You get the idea. You tried your best, but it's time to admit your defeat. So please, stand still while my bugs beat your soul out of you!
Just get it. <laughs> Creep. <laughs> 
teach you. <laughs> I realized that I would be dead if I were my original self. It turns out that being an immortal card is much better than being human. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, I can live without hot dogs. As long as I can watch you eat them. You know, vicarious eating, or whatever they call it. That voice! It can't be! Carl! And who are you again? Uh, no time for idle chit chat. Let's blow this place up. Can't wait to finally use your lovely gift. Father forbid me from playing with it in our hideout. In fact, he threatened to banish me if I didn't disarm it. So please watch my back while I arm it again. And you don't uh -huh. look too good, pal. Take that. <laughs> your time, pal. Well, I know when to cut losses. Time to evacuate. Leave the prisoner and escort me to the elevator. Wait, I have something important to tell you. You have five seconds. That's more than enough. Death to capitalism!
Well, there goes Evil Way. Strange. It makes me feel kind of sad. Like I've lost someone close. Um, uh-huh. Ah, yes, we've lost Dr. East. It's probably that. I'll get over it. Hey, thanks again for cooling me off in the ocean back there. I really needed that. <laughs> you can totally count on me when it comes to throwing your butt in the ocean. Thanks. Much appreciated. So, uh, what are your plans for tonight? Wanna hang out with my pal and me? Actually, I wanna go and make sure Father turns everyone else back to normal. Everyone else? You're not joining them? Nah, I don't wanna. Bullshit! I kid you not! I enjoy being in our little weirdo club. A normal would break all that. Also, I look fantabulous with a tag. Weirdo club, huh? I guess we're in it for life then. Damn, I still can't shake off this overwhelming feeling of sadness. Can you feel it too? Big time. Feels like everything is going to end, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, so this is Mr. Jello for Bum Simulator. And uh, also, I've um, read this um, script, and it's, it's beautiful. I think this is going to be the best script I think I've ever read, ever read for. I bet they didn't tell you I'm a method actor. Got to hook on in the studio as we speak. Kind of hard to type on the keyboard, but we'll make it work. And before we start here, I'm going to make sure my phone's off. We're going to do all that shit. Make sure it's all good. All right. Ever have a clown shoe in your ass? Ever had a hook in your ass? Listen here, you little punk. You ever had a clown's hook in your ass? Just combine the two, why not? It's yours. It's yours. Oh, great. I apparently have a notification. Let's, let's just shut the fuck up on that, huh? Hello, boys and girls. It's your old pal, Mr. Jello. Now, today on today's show, we have a very exciting episode. You see, we're gonna. Oh! <laughs> Whoops! Looks like Mr. Jello took another slip. Gotta watch out for those banana peels Maury the monkey keeps throwing around. <laughs> He's always driving me bananas. <laughs> I want, I, I like that to be like an Easter egg that people can find that sort of alludes to Mr. Jello's past. Gamers like to find stuff like that, so let me know if we want to build on this at all. Simply throw junk in there. I'll recycle it and bring... Provide, provide. Fucking get it together, Mr. Jello! Boom! Easy! Time for me to blow! Remember the use of my place? Yeah, I gotta rush, I gotta slurp on that one. Mr. Jello's had a few to drink. Don't don't worry about it, it's alright. Have I conveyed to you just how much I enjoy Mr. Jello? I see a lot of him in me, and I see a lot of me in him. Just don't want his hook in my ass. I don't want that part of him in me. 